Hey, what's up YouTube, it's ICU. And in today's video, I'm incredibly excited to show you how to jailbreak iOS 12.4 on A12 devices without the need of a computer. And I'm also going to show you guys how to keep that app permanently signed once you are jailbroken. So now if you own an iPhone 10s Max, 10s, 10R, or 2018 iPad Pro model, you can now finally jailbreak all thanks to hacker Pwn to Own, without whom we simply would not have an A12 jailbreak. So I will include a few links to him down below in the description, including to his donation page. So with that said, let's go ahead and get straight into today's tutorial. First and foremost, I want to show you that this iPhone XS is in fact rocking iOS 12.4. Actually, first, I'm going to show you that this is in fact an iPhone XS. I just recently reset the factory settings. So you can see it says, welcome to iPhone XS Max right there from the default tips application. Furthermore, let's go ahead and hop inside of settings, general, and then about. And you can see right here that it does in fact confirm that this is an iPhone 10s Max rocking 12.4. Now let's go back out because I want to actually share with you guys something urgent and critical that you need to take care of before you perform this jailbreak. So you'll see here inside of settings general, let me turn up the brightness a little bit. So you'll see here inside of settings general, there is an available software update. It's iOS 13. So I'm going to go back. If you have that, chances are good your device has already downloaded it and or a prior OTA update like 12.4.1. So what we need to do is go inside of the settings application, go to general, and then go to iPhone storage. If you have an iPad, it'll say iPad. So you can see right here, we have iOS 13 downloaded 3.63 gigabytes. So you need to tap into that. If it says 12.4.1, same deal. You have to delete any pending over the air software updates because it could put your device in jeopardy. And the last thing that you want is to actually be forced into a restore because 12.4 is no longer signed, which brings me to my next point. If you are rocking iOS 12.4.1, unfortunately, you're just going to have to wait. I do not recommend updating to iOS 13, however, because there are stirrings that we might possibly maybe see an iOS 12.4.1 jailbreak, but we just don't know. It's too early to tell definitively right now. So the best policy is always to stay on as low of a firmware as you possibly can. If you're on iOS 13, consider downgrading to iOS 12.4.1. Follow our downgrade tutorial linked down below in the description for that. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's get into how to actually jailbreak. There's going to be one primary article linked below. It's the very first link. And on said link, you will have full written instructions and download links, not only for the on device method, which I'm showing you guys now, but also for the computer method. So if you happen to have a computer, then you can jailbreak that way as well. But because I'm showing you guys the on device method, what I want you to do is just scroll down until you see this big uncover button, tap it, and then the download links will be gathered. Once they are, the page will redirect and all I want you guys to do is search for one link on that page. So you're going to scroll down and you're going to tap right where it says tap here. This is going to direct you to a remote service and really all you're going to do is scroll until you see uncover iOS 12.4 jailbreak and then tap the big red download button. Remember to avoid ads, you're looking for just that big red download button. Once you do tap on that, you will receive this pop-up just tap on install and I want you guys to go to your home screen. It will put uncover on a blank space on your device's home screen and it'll actually be grayed out and then say waiting dot dot dot. Once it is done downloading, it will move to the installing step. Now, if you already had uncover installed previously for whatever reason, maybe you were just excited and you had it installed on your A12 device, I want you to delete it first and then just download it again, utilizing that exact same method. Just tap the big red download button followed by install. And you can see right here, it's grayed out for a second and then it moves past that waiting stage to the installing step. And now we have Uncover. But before you can actually open it, you'll receive this message right here, Untrusted Enterprise Developer. So what we have to do is go back inside of the settings application. Now this time I want you guys to go inside of general and then I want you to scroll down basically to the bottom and go to device management. If you have profiles installed as well, it'll say profiles and device management and just tap inside of that, tap the enterprise app, tap trust, tap trust again. 
And basically what this is just doing is trusting the enterprise certificate that this app is signed with. Because of Apple's closed ecosystem, it's incredibly hard to distribute applications off of the Apple App Store. So the on-device signing service that I'm actually showing you guys right now might have the certificate revoked. If that's the case, you're going to have to follow the computer method, which again is linked down below in the description, or you can just wait for it to be updated with a new certificate. It seems to be updated pretty frequently, so just refresh and try to download. You'll know it'll work if, again, you get a full-fledged uncover icon that's white and you can tap into it after you trust it. All right, so we can go ahead and open it up now, and you'll notice that we do have the latest version as of recording this video. 3.7.0 beta 1. This is for A12 support. It might actually be higher by the time you are watching this video based on when you do watch it, but you can see that it does say jailbreak. So we can go ahead and tap on jailbreak right now. This is the first step. What it's going to do is create a snapshot of the root file system. That way you can actually unjailbreak if you need to. It sets everything back to stock while keeping all of your applications, files, and data exactly as they were. So it doesn't revert back to this snapshot in the sense that all of your app data will be whatever it was when it created that backup. Basically what it'll do is it'll just create a backup of again, the root file system. So things iOS needs to function. And then it will revert back to that root file system snapshot. Basically, it's just a system thing. It has nothing to do with your personal information. All of that is fully maintained and not even touched by the jailbreak whatsoever. But that's just something awesome that Uncover does in addition to jailbreaking. So that way you can go back and unjailbreak if and when you ever need to. So you don't even really have to worry about it if you don't want. You just open it up, tap jailbreak. Once you receive this little prompt right here, you're just going to tap on OK. And it says the device will respring. So you can see here we're on the lock screen. Let's go ahead and unlock. And now we actually even have Cydia. We don't have to click on jailbreak for a second time. It does the entire thing in one process now. This is brand new with the A12 jailbreak. This is because of all the rock solid stability improvements that Pwn was so intent on pushing out and rolling in to uncover. So fantastic news, guys. The jailbreak process is even easier now. And of course, once you open Cydia for the first time, if you see any essential upgrades, I want you guys to install them. So I'm just going to tap on complete Complete upgrade. I'm going to tap on confirm in the top right hand corner and you can see here that it is installing all available updates right now. Okay, now after this, I want to show you guys how to keep that application signed because if and when that certificate, well, rather not if, just when that certificate is revoked, you won't be able to utilize the application at all. And you might be wondering, well, why does that matter? That's because when you reboot your device, you're actually going to have to open it up open the Uncover app up, and you're going to have to tap on Jailbreak to use Cydia or anything that you've obtained via Cydia. That's how the Jailbreak works. It needs to essentially repatch the kernel. So with that said, I'm going to show you guys how to keep Uncover signed because it will be revoked and you won't be able to use it without downloading a fresh copy unless you do what I'm about to show you guys. So I want you to open up Cydia now, and I want you to go down to the Sources tab, tap on Edit, add in the top left hand corner and you're going to paste in the following repository now don't worry this will be on the link down below in the description the very first one it's just repo.incendio.ws tap on add source it'll verify it and once it's done verifying it you can go back to Cydia and I want you guys to install something called reprovision. So let's go ahead and wait for sources to update right here. And we're going to search for reprovision. That's just R-E-P-R, -E and it should be popping up now once you have that installed. We're going to tap where it says modify, and you're going to tap on install, followed by confirm. All right, once you have it installed, you're just going to restart your device's springboard. And once it's back up, you should have reprovision now. Now what reprovision does is it basically just utilizes your own Apple ID and Apple's seven day signing method. It's the exact same method that's utilized on computer when we use Cydia Impactor to sideload applications. 
but it does it all on device without the need of a computer and it does it in the background. So before the application is expired, before those seven days are up, it will resign it just so long as you are in your jailbroken state. So as long as you maintain your jailbroken state, you know, every few days, if not every single day, then the application will be constantly signed in the background for if and when you have to reboot and repatch your kernel. Again, that means that the app will be signed. So I'm going to grab my Apple ID real quick and we're going to get this signed. All right, so you can see here, I just logged in and it says that it has finished successfully. So we can go ahead and tap on done. Next, you're just going to tap on where you see uncover and you're going to tap on add. You're going to tap on continue and now it will actually sign uncover utilizing your own Apple ID. You're going to have to retrust it inside of the settings app just as I showed you guys previously, but now it will be fully signed. As you can see right here, it says success signed uncover. You guys can also mess around with some of the settings in the third tab right here. You can change when it actually resigns it. Me, I like to set it to when there are three days left and I also like to go into advanced and set it to only check every 24 hours. That's a background daemon that runs based on how often this option is set to. So it's every 24 hours for me now. And uh, yeah, so as long as I'm in my jailbroken state at least one time, three days prior to the expiration of the application, it will re-sign it. And that way you guys are permanently jailbroken, permanently have a signed app to repatch the kernel and you'll be good to go. I really hope you guys liked this video. Definitely check down below in the description because we do have some awesome top tweaks coverage listed for you guys there. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.